A brief history of accounting. Okay, in the year 1299, there is evidence of the first full double entry bookkeeping. In 1874, Cyrus D. Spalding of Boston, Massachusetts patents the Spalding Adding Machine. 1887, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants is founded. In 1934, as a result of the Great Depression, the Securities and Exchange Commission is established. 1939, the Committee on Accounting Procedure was the first private organization that had the task of setting accounting standards in the United States. Twelve years later, in 1951, the Accounting Principles Board replaced the Committee on Accounting Procedure due to its ineffective nature. The first portable calculators appeared in Japan in 1970 and were soon marketed around the world. The Financial Accounting Standards Board is established in 1973, replacing the Accounting Principles Board in an effort to reduce the committee size and to ensure a timely release of accounting standards. Lotus 123 is released in 1983, making spreadsheets easier to use with integrated charting, plotting, and database capabilities. In 1993, with version 5.0, Excel adds the ability to automate tasks and to provide user-defined functions in spreadsheets. In 2001, a series of financial fraud occurred due to poor internal controls involving companies such as Enron, Arthur Anderson, WorldCom, Quest, and Sunbeam, to name a few. Osaba, now Blackline, was founded in 2001 as a wealth management software. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002 set new or enhanced standards for all U.S. public company boards, management, and public accounting firms. When a client approached Blackline with an account reconciliation challenge in 2004, Blackline realized a solution to the problem could help many more organizations comply with SOX, so it developed the first commercialized account reconciliation tool. One year later, Blackline raised the bar by automating manual processes, knocking days off the financial close process. In 2006, Blackline shifted focus from in-house to on-demand, clearing the path to greater accessibility, fast implementations, and simple updates. In an effort to create a community of users, Blackline launched the first user conference in 2007 with 20 users. Following the launch of the account reconciliation tool, Blackline closed its 100th client in 2008. In 2009, the account reconciliation tool was introduced overseas, helping companies in various countries streamline their financial close processes, proving the viability of Blackline on demand. With the growing trend of on-demand applications via the internet, SaaS solutions soon faced scrutiny and required proven security. Blackline received its first SaaS 70 Type 2 security audit in 2010 the first in its industry. With the rapid growth that came in 2010, Blackline's increasing concern for customer success paved the way for the white glove service, helping clients further bolster their ROI. In 2010, ROI reports and independent studies proved without a doubt the success of Blackline, compelling small and large accounting firms to join the revolution. Blackline's strong belief in free training led to Blackline U in 2011. Blackline's free online training, where clients can learn how, learn now. With the strong need for Blackline internationally, Blackline opened its first UK office in 2012. Also in 2012, reports show that Blackline reconciled $70 trillion per month. That's the equivalent to the global GDP. And today, with more than 500 clients and 60,000 users across 100 countries, the accounting revolution continues.